Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and well, this lock has clearly had a, a real life being used as an actual lock somewhere. Um, very well beaten up, hardened seal body like these chubs have. It does say a molybdenum <laughs> shackle, um, but it's well corroded. You can see in there that's a greasy lock. Somebody's been in there with some WD 40 or something, haven't they? You can tell that just by the sheen. Um, and it feels very greasy. The shackle doesn't want to pop up. It's got a spring, but but it's clearly a little bit slimy and grotty in there. Double ball, ball bearing mechanism. And I've got this lock as part of a, a big lot of locks on eBay. And I was sort of wanting to have a go at this one in particular, just because I do like these chub locks. And this one does have a chub key. This original key is six pins, quite good bitting. See how high pin six there is compared to pin five so you need a quite a high rise pick to pick that um yeah just a shame it's just so beaten up really chub don't exist anymore so these locks are getting rarer and rarer to find so it would have been nice to have one with its bumper still intact and a, at least a nice shiny shackle but you know it's what we get it, it wasn't a lot of money so um let's throw some advice probably tighten it up by its shackle there you go and um Got a Sparrow's Lunatic there, which should get past that bitting. Uh, Mad Bob's tension tool, like that. And um, put a bit of tension on there, see how we go. So, in at the back, medium tension here. Uh, they'll click on pin uh, six, nothing on five, or four, three, little click on two. on one, back to six, nothing, five, nothing, four, three, little something, two, one. Horrible greasy pins inside here. Um, if anything, that's really hampering the my picking attempts because I, th I feel that the pins are sort of being stuck in the lock because like like a, like glue with all this um horrible oily grease so it's actually going through the lock pin two there did we just hit pin one into a tiny false set or not can't really tell go back to the back six five Four, three, two, one. Oh, and wow, we have an open. Um, almost didn't expect it to open like that. I felt some very small little counter rotation movements there, but really, it just felt like us fighting through grease. Uh, I'm, oh, oh, this my tension slipped there. Let's uh, open it with a key and try to actually gut it. Um, I dread to think what's actually inside this thing. It's clearly very much gummed up. Oh, yuck. Um, okay, well, I suppose it's time to get my nice tools all dirty. dirty my hands will get by the end of this. Interestingly, those pins actually look quite clean, don't they? All in all. Um, the rest of the lock is absolute filth, but the, the pins are nice. Oh, they are serrated, some of these. That's quite nice. Serrated key pins, um, acting as an overset trap. Obviously, if you overset the pins, then they will... Um, There we go. They will be very difficult to get back around unless you release all the tension and, and reset them. But oh, they are so, so greasy. Wowie. That's, uh, yeah, that's gross. Okay, right. What else we got in there? 
Oh, wow, it's even like uh, dirtied up my follower. <laughs> oh, dear. That's what happens when you can't afford to buy new locks all the time, isn't it? You end up buying um, horrible, greasy old ones like this. Nice little spool. So, um, it's also standard, spooled, spooled. That's quite nice. Could feel some spools, um, albeit that everything's sort of deadened by uh, the horrible amounts of grease inside this lock. Spool, spool, spool. That's quite nice. All spools. What's the last one? And a spool. That's kind of cute. Okay. So nothing special about the core. Um, let's move that big lump. There you go. That's uh, that's just gutting one tiny lock. I'll give that a clean up before I put it back together. But you can see here we've got um, what looks like steel. Drive, driver pin and key pin at the front. Where they're long enough, the key pins are all serrated. As an overset trap, you've got uh, spool pins in positions five through to two, and again, a standard driver pin, pin in position one, and a whole lot of grease. I'm gonna go get some uh, tissue paper and clean all that up now. Well, there you go. It wasn't the, the most secure lock in the world. Um, Although I suppose in its own way, it's made itself a tiny bit more secure by being old and very, very greasy. Um, although I don't think that should be a sales feature um, for a new lock. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you all next time.